when I have my brother who comes and he's, he's 39, 40 years old and he gives his life to Jesus four months ago. Yeah. I mean, you know, your family members, it's, it's not too late. Yeah. It's not too late. The person you've been praying for for 10 years, they're one encounter away from a tipping point. Yeah. And how many of you know, tonight, I heard God clearly say, tonight is a tipping point night for this group. Yeah. A tipping point night. Something's about to happen. And I asked Amen if he could just share for two, three minutes just on what God did in his life. And can I get the mic right here? Can you guys give him a clap? He's a good looking. We're going to say to you next. <laughs> I've never shared my testimony publicly with anyone. Yay. It's time. Yeah. I'm happy to share it with you all. The last few years, more like four or five, have really been a struggle for me. Unlike any other time in my life. This year especially. The Lord has softened my heart. I get emotional. These are tears of joy. <laughs> you know, the embracement of the Lord around my heart. I've struggled and was trying to fill the void to my life. I know that sounds like a cliche, but it's absolutely true. I was looking for answers in all the wrong places. And just one day, a friend of mine put me on to something, took me to church, and I was invited. That day, the worship songs were directed to me. <laughs> <laughs> they hit home on every word, every note. And I accepted the invitation, and I gave my life to the Lord. <laughs> Shortly after, I, evalu I, I evaluated myself through the things that I was reading, thinking I was a good guy and a good person. What have I done wrong? Mm -hmm. And I recognized how much of a sinner I was, how many lines I've crossed, how many lies I've said. Once I recognized and realized Jesus died on the cross for me. Was buried and raised from the dead and ascended into heaven so that one day I can. I completely repented from my sins with absolutely no withdrawals with ease, wow. without ever looking back. Yeah. And I've received the Lord Jesus as my Savior. Come on, man. Yeah. What areas did you did you think that you're going to have withdrawals and you haven't had any withdrawals? I feel like there's people in here that's it's going to really release something for them. If you don't it's, mind sharing, it's really personal and it's embarrassing, but I will share. Um, it, it's. So many different things, really. Um, alcohol, um, I haven't touched a drink. Um, I smoke marijuana regularly, continuously throughout the day since I've lost my employment. Just trying to cloud my mind. I've led to you know, the adult natured materials online. Uh, just there are things out there, you, everybody kind of knows what their poison is. Yeah. And you've had no withdrawals since you came to the Absolutely world. none. Wow. Come on, that's amazing! Just for a second, just, just to, but that, that's a grace that's on your life, amen. And I, I'd love for you just to release that. Just If you can just release that in the form of just a quick prayer over everybody. There's, there's, there's some people that, you know, that may be an issue. They're, 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 they're struggling with something in their life. Maybe you can just release that quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, what you've done for me, I ask that you bless those in need of you to do the same for them. Oh, thank you, God. I 
ask that you rip it out of their insides and throw it away. And may they walk in fellowship with you and never look back, continuously walk forward with you, run the race, run it to win it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Bless right. those around them to be supportive. Yeah. Yeah. Give them what they need individually, Lord, mm -hmm. to get through it. Mm -hmm. And I know once you fill their heart with your love, mm -hmm. that nothing else will satisfy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I ask this in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I got rocks. <laughs> Run it to win it. Someone's gonna make a T-shirt out of that. <laughs> we need encounters with God. Need them. Absolutely need them. You know. I, uh, I came to the Lord when I was 20 years old and 32 now, and uh, when I came to the Lord, it was it was dramatic. Like I'm, I'm partying one day, I'm I'm just I'm living the, I'm living the, the certain lifestyle one day, and the next day it's all over. It's the one step program. <laughs> that was it. I took the one step program right towards Jesus. Boom, done. Everything was done, and. That day, it was February 25th, 2001, that day was a marked day in my life. You know, I, 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 uh, wasn't, I, wasn't going, I wasn't a church-going person. I grew up in the Greek Orthodox Church, went to church for the first time, went to a Pentecostal church for the first time. <laughs> I mean, you know, I gave God something to work with when I walked into those doors. <laughs> Walk in the church. My buddy drags me there. I'm, I, I'm not smelling good and I'm not looking good. You know, I got my four hours sleep. I, I, who gets up this early on the Sundays? <laughs> Walk through the door, sit in the front row, and and there was there was a band on stage. I had never seen that before. I'm like a band at church. What's going on here? Did I, did I come to the wrong place? You know what I mean? I grew up in an Orthodox church, very similar to Catholic and. And I'm like, this is, this is all so different to me. Then this preacher gets up. And he's one of those back flips, spit at you preachers. Like, he's jumping up and down. He's jumping on this side of the stage. He's jumping on that side. Of the, you don't know what he's talking about. He probably doesn't know half of what he's talking about.